We already have a range of permission sets within Distribution Engine, from a regular user receiving distributions through to the system manager and DE admin roles, which allow comprehensive control. In between is our team manager permission set. So many of our customers come to us with unique permissioning needs. For instance, some wish to limit team managers to only assign tags, restricting access to distributors or teams they're not managing, yet others want a more open environment where team managers have full visibility and edit rights across all areas. It's this variety of needs that inspired us to provide them with this flexibility. So as a first stage, we've created a custom team manager permission set. It's similar to the existing team manager permission set, but what sets it apart is that it allows customers to fine tune exactly what their team managers can see and do within the app. A key point to mention here is that these permissions are managed by you within our UI and not within Salesforce itself, enabling you to keep control with your DE admin rather than a Salesforce admin. So there's no need for additional Salesforce setup. So let's now dive into a demo to illustrate how this works. So I'd like to introduce you all to a new feature called Distribution Engine Custom Team Manager. Think of it as a supercharged version of our existing Team Manager permission set. The real magic here is the ability for admins to fine tune what specific users can see within the app. So let me show you what this looks like. So here in our custom permissions page, which you'll find under the distribution settings tab, you'll see we have a variety of access control options. In some cases, these options allow users to decide whether they can edit, create, or delete team members, or just view them. They can also control whether they can view or edit distributors, and if so, which parts. We also have detailed settings for tags, distribution availability, and logs. So whether they can only view their own logs, the team's logs, or delete logs, or if they have the ability to access the analytics. So as an example, let me scroll to the top and let's set the team members page to view in only and remove access to team availability and team performance and then hit save. So to see what this looks like, I've logged in with the new permission set. And if I go into a team that I'm a manager of, we should see here on the left-hand side, the vertical navigation is more streamlined. So only showing sections they have the capability to see or adjust. So you can see here that this list is normally a lot longer than this, and we only have access to team members and distributors. So within team members, for example, we said we could only view, but not create, edit, or delete team members. So here you can see there is no add team member button. I can view and adjust the availability toggle as I gave myself that permission. Now let's go back to the custom permissions page and change the toggle to view only and click save. So if I refresh the page, you'll now see all of the team member availability toggles are now grayed out. So in general, if they have access to the page, but not the editing rights, they will still be able to view it. So it boils down to a page level control of view and edit rights, or no access at all. So to sum up, the custom team manager is the first step we're taking towards providing more granularity in permission sets. While it's not the last step, it adds another layer of customization to your permissioning strategy. It strikes a balance between providing access to useful features and restricting unnecessary ones. For example, there's no access to things like the classifier or distribution settings. And standard team scoping applies, meaning managers 
can only interact with teams that they're added to or have access rights for. The objective here is to provide you with a more tailored, efficient and secure way to manage per permissions in Distribution Engine. We hope this new feature will offer the flexibility you need and enhance your overall user experience.